Poison gas. How did you get in there? Is Strang still in there? <coughs> no. He escaped through the secret panel, into the hallway. <sighs> We've got to get him now. Stop! Or I'll shoot! Drop that gun! Get over there, my boy. Strang's a shadow, all right, or he couldn't have gotten out of that room. Don't you see we're all doomed? Letting Young double cross the shadow? Maybe we can square ourselves with the shadow by taking care of these two. Don't shoot. Wait. We warned you not to double cross the shadow. <coughs> Turn around, smart guys. Stop those guns. Get there hard way, Young. I'll get over there, Foster. Now keep your faces glued to that wall if you know what's good for you. You too, Foster. They call. The only way Strang can harm anybody is with his radio death ray. I threw my radio disc away. But you can't escape that man. He's a monster. Monster, huh? And why hasn't he killed me? I give him plenty of reasons to that time out at Jerome's. When I had Jerome in the corner and... I know the jewels were in that bag. You tell me where you hit him or... I'm not wasting any more time on you, Jerome. You'll tell me. Not a peep out of you. Got the jewels. It turned out that Jerome tricked us both. If Strang is as powerful as you think he is, wouldn't he have finished me off after that? You've nothing to be afraid of. All right. I'll get the jewels. If uh, you'll trail along behind me. And if Strang shows up, it'll be just too bad for him. Where have you been? 
I went to the rookery. Father, everyone's beginning to believe that you are the whispering shadow. Now I suppose you are beginning to suspect me. No, I'm not. But Jack Foster's a thing. Foster! Well, let me tell you. That young man has interfered with my plans for the last time. has them at the warehouse. And if Jack Foster interferes, stop at nothing to get rid of him. Yes, Mr. Jerome, I will get him right away. Call in truck 42. Call in truck 42. Hello, Tom. Say, Mr. Jerome wants to know if you can... What's the trouble? I don't know. He must be dead. Where's Steinbeck? He's in his research room. Now what have you done, Steinbeck? You better get back in there and fix this radio. What have I done? If you'd stay out of this radio room, we might not have so much trouble. I've had enough of your insults, Steinbeck. I'm going to take this up with Mr. Bradley at once. This isn't the first time this has happened. Aren't you letting your personal feelings sway you, Jerome? Not at all. I just questioned Sparks, and he told me that on the night the Shadows men attacked the warehouse, he was in the radio room and... Uh, Check in at Portland for transshipment. Okay, 34, that is all. Call in truck 42. Call in truck 42. <coughs> hey, boss! He's gone dead again. I thought I told you not to interrupt me. What is that same in the phone? The whisper shadow. Shall I call Mr. Raymond? No use alarming anybody until we are sure. Sounds to me like trouble with the aerial. Get up on the roof and take a look at it. Yes, sir. And don't go locking yourself out on the roof again. Everything's working as planned. The door's open. Don't you see? Steinbeck arranged all this so that the Shadow's men could get into the warehouse and steal the jewels. They would have got away with them, too, if it hadn't been for Jack Foster.
I tell you, Steinbeck is either the whispering shadow or he's working with him. Well, there may be something in what you say, Jerome. I'll investigate Steinbeck. You'll find out that I was right. Hello? I've got to see Mr. Foster right away. Mr. Foster's not in. We expect him back. Would you care to wait? No. I'll come back. Can you tell me where Mr. Bradley's office is? Uh, go straight down the corridor and turn to your right. His name is on the door. Oh, thank you. I'll be right down. Don't make a sound, Bradley. You're taking me back to your office. What do you want? I'll relieve you of those jewels now, Bradley. I haven't any jewels. Unless you mean... Uh, you know what I mean. I saw you take those jewels from Foster after we knocked him cold. Where are they? In a safe deposit vault. In the security trust. Then I'll trouble you for the key. Now, write an order to the trust company saying that you're sending me to get something out of the box for you. It's no use, Bradley. You're licked and you know it. Now turn around. This is just to make sure that you don't call for help after I leave. Now put your hands behind your back. I'll take a chance through the main entrance. You two slip up that fire escape. Now get over to that closet. Well, well. The Whispering Shadow's daughter. My father is not the Whispering Shadow. Oh, no? Well, we'll see if he tries to do anything to me while you're with me. Get in there, Bradley. That's not the way out. We're leaving by the fire escape. You are mistaken, Young. You are not going to leave this building alive. You can't kill me with your death ray because the radio disc isn't on. I have other ways of dealing with traitors. I've got your daughter here, and if... Get out onto the fire escape.
We'll have to go out through the hall. Don't try any of your tricks. Get your father on the phone. I'm not going to let him get away with this. looking for me? Yes, a young lady. I think she's gone to Mr. Bradley's office. There's no answer. Stop. If you pass through that window, you sign the death warrant of the shadow's daughter. Let's call his bluff. <laughs> 